Hey guys, Jason with Venture Fitness here, and I'm here with Dr. Chris. Hey. And we're gonna be here for Fix It Friday, and we're gonna assess the front rack position. Hope you guys like my ugly front rack. So as we're in this position, a lot of times when we get in here, we're gonna see maybe a shot, elbow drop, okay, one goes higher, one goes lower, or they're gonna feel a lot of pressure throughout this wrist. So if we feel a lot of pressure throughout this wrist, usually we're in this position, a good push press position, but not a good front rack position. Because if he went to squat with this, again, tremendous pressure on the wrist. So I'll uh, help Chris put that down. So a few things that that can uh, be is, really tight uh, lats. Uh, a lot of times when we get into this position, again, if our lats are way too tight, we probably shouldn't be going into the front rack position right off the bat. So we should probably work with a dowel. So when we grab this dowel, I'll have him with that um, front position with his hands and nice control, he's gonna raise that bar up towards his head. So we're, we're gonna be here noticing how the back looks. So if he comes into this anterior tilt position, kicking his butt out and his arms go forward and they don't wanna go back towards the crown of his head, I'm gonna first assess uh, where his hips are. So the first thing I'm gonna tell him is I'm gonna grab him by the waist and slowly press his hips forward, okay? And now with this, I'm gonna slowly press back just to get him comfortable with this. If we have a really hard time getting here, I'm gonna have him uh, stay seated on the wall. So I'm gonna bring you over here real quick. All right guys, so on this wall, I'm gonna have Chris cross-legged. I'm gonna have him scoot all the way tight to the wall. Okay, and become real good friends with it. And we're gonna have this over grip with the bar. I'll go just a little, uh, a little further out, maybe shoulder width, okay? So nice control, I'm gonna have him touch his knuckles to the wall here, okay? If he has this little mobility issue, Okay, uh, I'm gonna really try to tell him, okay, reach those knuckles back. If he's stuck here and he can't move or if you notice one side's off, okay. Uh, we're gonna assess by supinating his grip. And then with control, I'm gonna have him reach back, trying to bring uh, his palms to the wall again. Okay, so some things that we might see here is this thoracic. He's gonna, he's gonna start pressing his chest forward, which is not too bad. But again, I'm gonna tell him to press his chest back, keeping nice and flat, really working this stretch. And all I wanna do is I'm gonna kind of add a dynamic movement to this. So I'm nice control. I'm just gonna have him go through a few of these up and down. Again, taking the traps out of the ears, really focusing on those lats. And we can go 10 to 12 reps on this one uh, for two to three sets, okay? So the next thing, after we get done with this, I'm gonna bring him to the foam roller if he's still tight. All right guys, so the next step is we're gonna assess his lats. So again, the lats come up to that high armpit and then going back down to that low back. So what we wanna do is when we get into this position here, I'm gonna have him lay flat, bring his uh, elbow up just a little further towards my hand, okay? So he's gonna put a lot of pressure on that. I'm gonna have him rotate his palm up towards the ceiling and nice control, he can move back uh, towards his heel and then up towards my leg here, okay? So nice and slow, just moving back and forth, and then I'm gonna have a pause, okay? So I wanna do like a three second pause, and then uh, three reps just going back and forth so we get some movement into it. So a three second pause, he can control that breath work, and once he hits three, he's gonna slowly move back towards his heel, and then slowly back up towards my knee here. All right guys, so let's go over another scenario. So um, with the first thing, I'm gonna have Chris pick up the bar. And once he grabs the bar, he's gonna rotate his back, okay? And he's gonna have that like real hunch back, okay? And his elbows are gonna go in um, just like so. So he's gonna be kind of crumbled in there. So a few steps that we wanna do is we wanna make sure we take care of this. So we're gonna have him put the bar down, okay? So again, when we're in that front rack position, we wanna really focus on that flexion of the shoulder and that external rotation of the shoulder as well. Okay, so very protective for the back. As he grabs this bar, I'm gonna have a nice control. Drive one elbow up. Yep, drive one elbow up, okay. And grab it onto the bar, and he's gonna slowly use this as pulling his um, elbow out, okay, and his hand uh, towards the knee here. So and we're just gonna hold it for five seconds, and then slowly release that pressure. 
breathing through it and then slowly pulling it back in again. Okay, so we'll go through five reps of this and we'll switch to the opposite side. All right, guys, so if we, find, uh, we feel nice and loose here, I'm gonna have Chris re-wrap that bar. Okay, so now we should see a little difference here. So again, we might have still some tightness and that's okay. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a process when we work on this. But again, every time we can take a little bit of that discomfort out and work this technique, we should have a nice, stable, strong position. Okay, so again, he's gonna pull those elbows up and then nice control, I'm gonna have him sit back behind a box back here. And I'm gonna have him just reach his hips back, tap the box, pull, and nice and slow back up. Okay, we're gonna go through this a few times here. So as he slowly sits his head back, and then he'll come back up. Again, we're working some of the shoulder mobility as well, the thoracic spine, and keeping that, uh, that spine nice and neutral as we go down into the squat. So as we go down again, I'm gonna pull, getting used to being in this position, and then as he comes up, there we go, nice good squeeze. Another thing to note here too, if his elbows are still coming down, me as a trainer or me as a friend, as he starts slowly sitting his hips back, I'm slowly guiding him down to the box, keeping his elbows in this line. Okay, so as he comes up, boom, again, as he goes down, comes back up. Okay, so as we put that bar down, some things to note is if, my, if uh, Chris is having a hard time with that shoulder mobility still, we should probably start back stepping just a little bit more and really assess um, our shoulder mobility and really take care of that before we get into any further um, damage on that position, okay? If you're having pain during any of these movements, it's always important to consult a chiropractor or physical therapist, somebody that can actually jog pain first before you're just gritting your teeth and pushing through those movements in a painful way. Once you're out of pain, go on back and start loading up that bar when you're ready. All right guys, thank you for joining us on Fix It Friday. Please uh, hit that subscribe and like button or comment down below to see what you want to see fixed next. This is Jason with Venture Fitness. And Dr. Chris with Venture Chiropractic. And we're always here to help you move better. Feel better. Be a be better, better you. you. Everybody's moving. Everybody's moving. Everybody's moving, 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 moving. Everybody's moving. Everybody's moving. Everybody's moving, 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 moving. And stop.